When we moved into this house a little over two years ago, I knew for sure that I needed a space to escape to, a space to design, paint, and get lost in a book. And for a while, I used this boring tiny room to do all of those things, but it just never felt warm or inviting. Let's just say this room didn't help to inspire me much. So when 2023 hit, I decided this would be the year I finally make over my studio space. When I started looking for inspiration, I knew that I wanted something that evoked a bit of whimsy or magic, something that reminded me of the Shire or a fantasy cottage. My main requirements were that I wanted the space to be green, have a gallery wall, and an accent wall, and I wanted it to feel super cozy. So I started looking through Pinterest, and I found a few rooms that really caught my eye, but then I came across this picture of this wallpaper from Graham and Brown, and immediately thought, I have to have this. And then I found a few other pictures with fun gallery wall setups, styled day beds, and a few other elements that would really work well within the fantasy dream idea I have brewing in my head. Starting with day one, I needed the accent wall for the wallpaper to be as flat as possible, and since I had to retexture for that, I decided I might as well do the whole room. But instead of flat everywhere, I did what is called an old world texture on the rest of the walls. As you can see, the texture before was not pretty, it was splotchy and just not good. So I thinned out a bit of slip compound with water and got right to work. This took so long, and my patience started wearing thin, but I got it done. And let me just say this, I'm not an expert at this. I've only done it a couple of times, and some spots ended up looking kind of weird. But I think in the end, it looked so much better than what it did before. When day two rolled around, it was time to paint this color. It really reminds me of the Shire or the Slytherin common room. It's so calming and I just couldn't wait to fill this room up with this color. My studio space is pretty small and I've heard to make it feel larger, you should paint the trim. So that's what I did, window sill and all. The paint I'm using is called Laurel Tree by Bear, and let me say a big shout out to my Instagram followers for helping me decide. Thank you so much for all of your help. Finally, it's wallpaper day. Big thanks to my husband for helping me out with this. Your short wife really appreciates it. I purchased this beautiful wallpaper from Graham and Brown because it has a similar element to another wallpaper I put up in my house a couple of years ago, which is the Black Family Tapestry from Harry Potter by Mina Lima. So since I wanted more wallpaper in my house, I thought I should match it in some way. To me, the branches in both of the designs of each paper really resembled one another. Also, the colors in this ended up being a really good color palette to contrast the green. This step was by far the scariest part because you never really know how many rolls you'll need for a space and since wallpaper can be so expensive, I was a little on edge. Luckily though, the two rolls I bought worked out perfectly. Oh my gosh, it has been a crazy week, but it is finally completed. We have the green on the walls and I'm really digging this color. Um, sometimes it has like this yellow tint to it and sometimes it's kind of bluey, sagey, so it's really cute. 
And then the wallpaper is so pretty. Oh my gosh, the light when it reflects the gold, it's just magical. It's so whimsical in here. Okay, so what we have left is to decorate the walls. I would bring in the furniture, but this room is just a little too small to decorate the walls with while having the furniture and walking all around it. And I just don't want to do that. So let's get started on that. We're going to hang up some shelves, hang up some storage bins. Maybe um, I've got to go through the artwork that I have for the gallery wall that I'm working on. And then I have this really pretty mirror that I got for Christmas. Maybe you've heard of it. You'll see what it is. All right, let's go. Not having a lot of space in this room really bummed me out and I needed to come up with a solution. So I decided to build up. I bought these wall shelves from Ikea for about $100. I really wanted the unfinished wood, but they don't carry them unfortunately, so I had to settle for white. So this is the mirror. It's kind of the entire reason for my fantasy dream cottage idea. I don't know why, but I just pictured it in this space with green and gold accented wallpaper. You might recognize it as the mirror of Irised from Harry Potter. Fun fact about me, I love the aesthetic of Harry Potter. That's why you'll see different elements from it in my home. The design firm that created all of the assets for the movies just really nailed it in terms of design and I absolutely love it. This wall storage bin is also from Ikea. It's such a space saver because I can put all of my crafting supplies away and it kind of hides all of it. And then I also have a bonus shelf with the top of it being so big. church and saw you for the first time. It was as if I stepped outside on a cloudy day and suddenly the sun came out. I bought this beautiful watercolor print off Etsy from a wonderful artist. Her name is Katherine Holman. She makes prints from various TV shows like Outlander and Pride and Prejudice. She does incredible work so you should go check her out. Her info will be listed in the description below. 
but I specifically wanted a touch of Downton Abbey in my home. And when I found her work, I audibly gasped, and I had to have this. I just found it so cute. I've been contemplating for a while on how to execute my gallery wall. Since I don't just have an array of artwork and frames lying around, I decided I would probably just paint something myself and use what I have around the house. That's something that I did here. I saved this calendar from last year and just loved the illustration so much, and I thought that using something from this would be a good idea. My favorite one is of this girl or boy sitting under a large tree, soaking in nature, maybe reading a book and contemplating life. I just found it really peaceful. And then, for more free art, I got online and went to nga.gov. That'll be listed in the description below as well. They have real classical artworks that are all downloadable. So I printed these out on nice photo paper and popped them into these frames that I bought in a set from Home Goods for about $50. I really wanted to collect antique frames, but the set really worked in a pinch. Finally, it's furniture day. I'm lucky enough to have pretty good pieces of furniture that I've collected over the years, thanks to a couple of really wonderful grandmothers, so I didn't need to look for any for this space. But let's just say if I had to, I probably would have chosen some nice antique wooden pieces to really hone in on the natural element that I think the room needs. Who knows, maybe one day I'll decide that's what this space needs, but for now I'm using what I already have and that works just fine. I just, I can't even believe this. 
It is finally completed after months of planning and designing and collecting all of these items for this room. I am already feeling so inspired to create more and especially in this space. I have wanted a space that is truly me for so long and yes my house is me but this room I don't know it embodies my soul a little bit I think it's a little bit of dark academia meets light academia meets a little bit of cottage core when I was planning the space and decorating for it all I kept thinking in my mind was high fantasy so of course I decorated my shelves with fantasy books and I've collected artworks and just things that I really love and put in this space and I'm so so happy about it so from here on out I'm gonna be using this room to create content and to paint more and to draw more and to just become more inspired I set up this bed perfectly so it doesn't feel like I can't sit on it um, while it's made it's so inviting when I come right in I have this really fluffy blanket that I'm using and I come in and I stare at my bookshelf. It makes me want to pick up a book and read, which I have a feeling I'm going to be doing a lot in this space. And yeah, it's just, it's magical. This wallpaper is so pretty, and especially like at nighttime when all of these lights are on and it just glows and glints and oh, it's just so gorgeous. Now, I don't know if you saw my painting up here. It's a little risque, but I did find it at an antique mall about two or three years ago, and I just fell in love with it because it kind of reminds me of Rose from the Titanic, and I was obsessed with the Titanic growing up. I remember when I was learning to draw, I would doodle Rose when she's getting drawn by Jack, and uh, yeah, she just, I fell in love with her. So, she went up in here. I think she's a good addition, and Ryan created this faux frame for it, which it doesn't look amazing, but it definitely looks better than what it was with no frame on it at all. This place is just so incredibly magical. I love it. I love it so much. Although the space is really small and I can't fit a very large easel in here, which I've always really wanted, I'll just have to compromise that fact and I will put it somewhere else. I have another room, so maybe I'll end up putting it in there. Who knows? This just truly is a piece of magic. It is so dreamy in here. So dreamy.